Hi everybody. I hope everybody's having a great week before Christmas. I have two more days and then my Christmas break starts and I'm walking in here and there she found the rock. Okay. Um, what this video is, these are, oh I forgot, I gotta walk over there for a minute. Um, some things that I got that I want to show you, clothing wise basically. Some really cool kitchen idea gifts, okay? And then, what? Um, I want to talk about the difference between uh, leggings and ponty pants because there is a little bit of a difference. I had one of my subscribers ask about the difference and I'm going to show you the difference of them. So, <clears throat> oh, and a couple more things. First off, let's start with this. Um, I know I've been talking about longer tank tops underneath things because I'm like living in my leggings. Um, and it's really hard to find some long enough, especially if you're tall, that cover the crotch area. Two kind of suggestions for you. One is the one that actually that I have on now this much above my knee. And what I did was I bought a maternity tank top on sale, my normal size. They're going to give you extra length because it's got to go around your belly. But up here, it's, it's, it's perfect. And it comes down just perfectly. I think I got it for like 12 bucks. So if you can't find anything long enough for a tank to wear like a shirt, because the sweater I have on now doesn't go all the way down and I, so I need everything covered, um, I have a maternity tank top. Something else that you can use. I uh, talked about this on my other channel and I don't have the box or anything, but you can get like a scene on TV. I want to say, not turby tops, turby something tops. Um, anyway, it kind of looks like a makeshift uh, tube top like this, and it comes in black and white. And the way you wear this, and I've worn this too, is if you have a tank top or something that doesn't come down long enough, it's open. So you just, you know, you can also wear this as a, um, like under here, if you don't want to wear a tank top, because it, you know, it wears like a tube top, basically. So, for example, let's say, the only thing you couldn't do with this would, okay, the only thing you couldn't do with this is, I wouldn't wear something tight, okay, because this is kind of how it works, okay, so you can pull it down, you know, as long as you want it, and then that's what would be underneath your sweater. Now I've got a little bit of see-through sweater, so I might not want to use it with this, but other sweaters or, you know, big sweatshirts or something, why wouldn't this work? It really would. Also, if you have something, you know, you can pull it up over if you got the low-rise jeans, okay, and then that will help show no crack, okay? So these were very expensive, and they came two in a container. Like I said, I wouldn't wear it with anything really tight, and I wouldn't wear it with anything see-through like this is, okay? So that is this. We'll go ahead and show this tank top. If you can see, it comes down to here, covers everything that needs to be covered, okay? Perfect, see my sweater doesn't, but this works perfect. So this is what I wore to school today. So um, maternity tank, so maternity tanks and this little, that's something top. Topsy turvy, I don't know, it's not topsy turvy, that's tomatoes. But it's something, and just it's as seen on TV if you look it up like this, but they weren't very expensive. So, those are two other ways that you can possibly get by with something longer if you can't find the longer tees. Okay, next thing I got <clears throat> my Crocs I have worn for years and years and years, finally, finally busted, and there was a uh, let me check this one out. there was a sale going on, I think it was last week or a week ago, on Crocs. Buy one, uh, get one for like $10 or something like that. Or no, it was buy one, get one free. And it had free shipping if you spent over it. Well, I love Crocs, so I don't know where my other ones are, but I got two pair. And they're the Athena Athens kind. They look like this. I love these. They do run big. I probably should have ordered a five, but I ordered a six. Um, there's plenty of room, so um, yeah. It's a little big, but, but that's okay. I'd rather have it big. And the other one I have is just like this, only it's solid black. I got both of these for $40, and that's a good price on actual real Crocs. I, I, I love, I live in these. I live in my Crocs, so that's what I got there. Then, of course, I was watching television. No hating, no hating. 
This is other clothing related, and I will probably during my break do like uh, try these on because I really want to try these on for you. What the heck that is? Anybody's interested after seeing this? I have um, coupons uh, for Crocs, 20% off two items, 30% off three. It doesn't expire till February, and there's a code on the back. So if you're why bite me? So if you're interested, oh, my hair looks really bad. If you're interested, uh, comment and just tell me uh, you're interested in the code and I will give it to you. So that's why I saved this. Okay. So then I got, I saw this and I'm like, what else can I wear? I want something different to wear, blah, blah, blah. So, oh my God, I saw these. These are so cute. I can't wait to try these on. These are legging skirts. I, said, I, just, I wanted a pattern. It is a skirt with leggings attached to it. All in one. All in one. Okay? I can't wait. Isn't that cute? You can wear this with all kinds of stuff. I can't wait to, to try these on. I'm, I, I will try these on for you and show you sometime during break. But this is the one pattern that I got. They had solid colors, but I like color just because you can wear so many different tops with them. So the other one I got, I really like this one too, is the other one that I got. Isn't that cute? This, no, they're both black leggings, but they did have some with other colors. So I think that would look so, so cute on. Yeah, I can't wait to try this on. So that is what I got from QVC. Both of these were from QVC, but I will double check and I will put it in the description bar and I'm talking to you guys because I have four minutes. Oh my God, this is for your kitchen. Green boxes. I'm thinking it's QVC. I love these green boxes. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. All it is is green, and you put food in it, and it lasts, okay? Prime example. I cut up some broccoli on Thanksgiving. Uh, had Bought a head of broccoli, cut it up, um, put it in this, okay? Thanksgiving, okay? Um, I took it out Monday because I was going to roast it for dinner. Perfect condition. Perfect condition. I put an onion in here. It lasted, I would say, a month. Yes, spinach, you know the, the salad stuff that you get, the fresh, and then you open it up and you don't use it all? Put in here, lasted a month, okay? I'm just saying, these are called the green boxes. I got a huge set. I probably will give people these for Christmas too, and they're gonna look at me like, what? But if you're like me, I love fresh fruits and vegetables and when you go to the farmer's market, but my eyes are bigger than as fast as I can eat. These keep them phenomenal. Green boxes. Great gift for a cook who likes to cook with fresh ingredients. Okay. Oh my God, now she's eating the paper. Something else that I got. These are called Sistema. These are from uh, QVC also. There's bigger ones too. It is a microwavable bowl. Okay, put whatever you need in here. I don't know about you, but my husband decides to put stuff in the microwave and it always explodes. You close the lid. You can even steam food in here, like broccoli. Let's say I just want a little bit of broccoli and I don't want to have to put it on the stove. Pop it in here with a little water, close it up. There's a vent, if I can get it, there we go. A vent, so the steam releases so it won't explode. Not only does the steam release, but some of it, but it still stays in it so it doesn't dry out your food. So good, in fact, I'm going to give this as a, one of these as a gift also. So they have bigger ones, soup for school. Hello, just pop it in here in the morning and then you're ready to go because I don't have a opener at home or at school, but I have a microwave. So this works perfect. All right, I'm running out of time. Hold that thought. I have three minutes, all right. I hope it's better. Okay, really quick, if it dies on me, I will do a second video with this. Ponty versus leg leggings. Leggings are like this. You have jeggings. Sometimes, oh, I got a hole in that on my butt. Oh my God, I sure do. Look at that. Oh my God. All right, anyway, even the jeggings, they still look like leggings more than anything. These are warm. You've got your fleece lined. They're really nice, but they're not high end enough looking to some, for some jobs, let's say, okay? And also, if you have a top that isn't quite long enough to cover the crotch, I won't wear these. Ponty is different. These are a pair of Ponty pants. These are Ponty pants. It has the zipper. 
And Aponte is a thick material, much thicker than leggings, yet it gives, it's tight, but not like skinny jeans where it, there's no give at all. This does have give, this does have stretch. It has a narrow waist, uh, narrow, but my other pair I'll show you, has a little bit of a boot cut. This I can wear with the sweater I've got on now because it would cut me here, but this looks more like a pant than it does a pair of jeggings, but fits almost as comfortable as jeggings. Almost as comfortable. Here's another pair that I have of uh, gray. These are more of a boot cut, but the Ponte is the material. It's stretchy, it's soft, and so you, you, these are more dressy than leggings, I'm just saying. So that basically is the difference between a Ponte and a legging. All right, I know that was quick, I know that was in your face, my camera's about ready to die. I hope I get this uploaded. If you have any questions or comments, please ask, okay? Have a great day. See ya.